We're at base camp on Mount Shasta. Aren't we, baby? Tell them. Yes, Rep. And I'm free. I'm freezing. Oh. Is that... <laughs> I'm freezing. The wolf pack has never been camping. We, um, when we go camping, Wow, we bring we bring a lot of pillows and shit, and we had to go down to because to the car because I can't sleep without uh, special pillows. It's true. Tell them, Destiny. Yeah, thumbs up. I have special orthopedic pillows. It is, and I I'm sort of <laughs> hypoxic right now because we're about oh uh, we're not that high we're about eighteen thousand feet or something, and um. A lack of oxygen, I'm a little, I'll be all right. I'm fine. I'm fine. Destiny's worried about me. Yeah, I'm so worried about She wants about to call you. The, the rangers or something mm -hmm. and call a um, helicopter in to, and I, I'll, I'll be fine. I can, I can climb back down. <laughs> on the airlift We're going out. up to the top tomorrow morning. All right, I can do that on one long. And one leg. <laughs> and one, one long hand, and one, one leg. One long and one leg. The yeah. story of a man who have a, it all. Um, outside we have some, uh, we did have some, um, some llamas, some alpacas that helped us, uh, come back, back and forth from the car. So the, the alpacas, like, we'll, we'll ride those down like we're, um, you know, like where alpacas are from. You know, what do you call a, a, a what do you call those those cowboys down in um, Chile or whatever? Do you hear those wolves? Are they gonna eat us? They might. <laughs> They're gonna eat you first. You might have to go go out there and throw a rock at them. No. No, because <laughs> we, we can't have them doing that. You did them. I can't, man. I'm on, I'm hypo hypoxic <laughs> and I'm sick. Well, I'm. I have hypoxia. That sounds like a personal problem. You want me to go deal with the fucking wolves? Yes, because I'm not going to. I'm not doing that. That's woman's work. What? Since I'm who? old. <laughs> that's, that's not fair. The you can't. llama spit on me too, the whole way up. Like it would turn its head and spit and stuff. <laughs> And Destiny's laughing. Ha, ah, isn't that funny? It's not. It's not funny. Um, a gaucho. That is what a, uh, like a, a cowboy is from Chile or Argentina. A gaucho. Oh, cool. Isn't that correct, people? Oh. Instead of horses, they ride llamas or alpacas oh. or something. Oh, oh. I and, think I've heard that before. And sometimes they had trouble getting llamas for a while because they became sort of endangered. So they imported ostriches from from Africa and the gauchos. Would I make that up? They even did that in the in the World War II. They um they hit they tried riding ostriches during World War II. They did. They thought that it might be a new like method to like, you know, freak out the enemy. Like, oh, here's a hundred guys on ostriches. Wow. And let's see if we can make the Nazis run. Because, you know, it's a big bird. It's like riding a big turkey. And they didn't they didn't really know what ostriches were in Germany for some reason. And they're like, oh my God, they're riding dinosaurs. Run. And that's how us and the allies actually, that's a true story. That's actually how we, um, you know, push through to, uh, you know, the other we went side. after Hitler and got rid of him. It was a, there were ostriches. It was a secret that, um, well, now, now the cat's out of the bag. Everybody knows about it. I was told about this by somebody that was there. So if anybody's saying I'm making up a story, I, I was told by somebody that really was there and I can trust them one of my tent stories i'm hypoxic tent stories i'm i'm lack of oxygen i might say things that are not like totally correct but they'll be fairly correct 
They're pretty correct, but you know, I'm, I'm hypoxic, baby. And we have nothing to eat except a box of graham crackers. <laughs> I left all the food down there at the car. <laughs> and it's like miles away and it's dark, so I, we can't get on the llamas and go back down there and get them. So we got one, what do we got? Like three bottles of water or something. Did you remember the water? <laughs> really? Are you serious? I asked you. Oh, you know where that? You know where it is? No, it's I out, asked it's you. It's out by the tree. No, do not even. Because you do know. Have water. <laughs> you know. You know that it that was your job. We got water. My job. I set up the tent. <laughs> but I blew up the mattress. I, I, I did all this man's work, and now I'm so. I'm so. Hypoxic. I was going to grab the water, and you are like, no, I have small ones. And I got the small ones, and they're out there <laughs> in a brown paper bag. I had to carry these pillows with the llamas in a brown paper bag uh, not too far away. <laughs> Do I have to go get them? Do I have to go get them? I don't want to. <laughs> I'm comfortable, man. Okay, I'll go in a minute. Where are they? They're out by the tree. What tree? You know the tree when you go in where the wolves are? There's like a tree. Right when you walk walk through those trees <laughs> that are like, you know, and you're going to that, that cavern entrance. Like as you walk in, there's a paper bag <laughs> and there's uh, like four bottles of water in it. Okay. On this like rock thing. Okay. They're there. Okay. But you'll have to deal with the wolves because I'm not going to. Boy, this this sleeping bag, by the way, is super warm. Mm -hmm. This is a, a Teton. <laughs> Teton built for two. And uh, even with just like me in here, I'm, I'm hypoxic, but I'm totally warm. I am. And it's 32 degrees out. So our tent, we have no heater in here. Um, there's wolves outside. You can hear them. Hear them? We may be eating tonight. I don't know. Nobody even cares that we climb Mount Shasta. Look, what do we have, like 22 people here? Well, we don't care. 25. 25. 25 strangers. No. Hey, strangers, what's up? Ask, ask us any question. We may answer it. God, I hope that wolf shuts up. Scully is two hours away from Mount Shasta. Well, are you? Good for you. Awesome. Are you going to save us? It's a beautiful place. Yeah, are you going to save us from are the you wolves? Are you going to save us? Then what good are you? At, what, Mount, where are you exactly uh, two hours away in Mount from Mount Shasta, tell us. Tell us, Scully. Where are you? What town? I think Scully's making shit up. Scully? Right, get... Skull and crossbones? Are you gonna go get water? Uh, yeah. You're gonna leave me in here all alone? Do you wanna go get the water? No. All right, go for it, baby. I hope you're okay. You'll be all right. I'll keep them warm. Do I have to talk to these people? I mean, if you want to just <laughs> let mean, them stare at you <laughs> while you lay there. Okay, but you'll be all right, so you understand it's out there. All right, I get it. It's by the tree. Yeah, there you go. It's like on that rock that's pretty high up. <laughs> Do you think I need a flashlight? Uh... You don't have one? There's also, um, well, you'll find some water. Just come back with some water, baby. It's and if you know. do, I'll be really impressed. And I'll make you breakfast in the morning. Okay. But I'll make you breakfast anyway in the morning. Okay. Thanks for breakfast this morning, by the way. <laughs> no, really. She's giggling. <laughs> Oh my God, that sounded like a domestic dog. Maybe somebody's come here to save us. Maybe that's 
Stranger Rick's dog. Oh my God. Man, now I'm alone. This is the time that I would be eaten by a bear or something. This is the way that grizzly guy got. Look, my hair is still sort of wet from like when we were coming up. I was getting, I was, you know, some, it was raining. It was, it was raining. And um, we're gonna, you know, I'm, af I'm afraid, I'm afraid. But boy, this, this sleeping bag is a hit. Um, I'm up in Canada, better America. Well, that's not very nice. This tent is a kazoo, kazoo. Yeah, grizzly man. And um, the tent's great. This uh, pad, the mattress, like that I'm sleeping on, is, um, it was really interesting how you, uh, you pump it up. The, the, um, the sack that it comes in, this is what you pump it up with. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's like you just, there's no directions. I had to figure it out on my own. You go like this, right? It's open. So it's there and there, and then you just close it. That's the pump. That is the pump. Yeah, Linda, these pillows, we brought them up from um, down in the parking lot, which is miles, miles down the mountain. Um, do I explore the caves under the mountain? What are you, a flat earther or something? Um, Peter is red sus. I'm gonna get rid of you. <laughs> I am gonna get rid of you, okay? Jerk. Somebody's saying uh, red is sus or some <laughs> shit. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> we're, on a, we're on a mountain, okay? And I'm hypoxic and it's real cold out. You found water for us? You know what we have to eat? Graham crackers, okay? <laughs> Graham crackers. God chose in Argentina. She's throwing water at me and I'm hypoxic. Peter, we would love more Wegmans videos. Okay, maybe. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. <laughs> You're a man of such mystery. Mm. Uh, what's up, Steve Johnson? How you doing? Steve um, works down there south of the border. He's a gaucho. South Seriously. of the border? Yeah, he's down there. He's down there in uh, Chile or oh. Argentina or something, and he's a gaucho. He plays a, uh, a guitar and a something else, and cooks his food out on the plains. Isn't that true, Steve? It's true. It is true. He's a, that, that's why I even know that term. It has nothing to do with the Steely Dan album. Um, don't you love Steely Dan? Um, yeah. Uh, who else do you love? Ario Speedwagon? No. You don't like the wagon? I mean, they're all right. Heard it from a friend, friend who, who heard it from a friend. friend who, na, 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 messing around. Heard it from another. Do, 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 do. There you What's go. that other song that they got? They all sound the same. Oh, my wings. I gotta fly. It's time for, time me. for me to fly. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, I was singing that coming up here. That's what I'm probably <laughs> hypoxic about. Of, in that moment, it seemed like he did fly. I did. When the, the, the alpaca that I was riding, it kicked me on, you know, like it was a fucking bronco. <laughs> and I, I was trying to control it. And I was grabbing it. I grabbed it by the, the you know, it's got like that tuft of hair like up here. <laughs> I was holding on and that pissed it off. And then it just started kicking and... What not and this and that. And um and here we are. <laughs> I don't know, we'll be all right. This babe, you don't want to get under this blunt this No. Okay. <laughs> Why not yet? Aren't your legs freezing? It's the thirty eight to thirty five degrees. No. Thirty four degrees. 
I, I, I don't know because I, I haven't checked the thermometer in a bit, but it's pretty cold. Isn't it cold? Yeah. I could see it. We could see our breath. I Look. don't really feel heat or cold. Yeah, see, it does affect her, but I'm a, what's called a uh, pussy. <laughs> I am. I'm a wimp. <laughs> How do you say? <laughs> I'm a wimpologist. I'm not coming out, man. I'll tell you what I wish we had right now. It's like a little stove in here and yeah. a couple cans of beef uh, soup. Though <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give you three more choices. You tell me which can of what. Okay. I'm thinking of it. Okay, can? Yeah, it's a can of food. Um spaghetti. Yes! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yes, I knew you would get that. I knew she. I knew she would get that. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> I knew you would get that. We have telepathic ability. And if, if I was eating sugar, right? That's gonna have a cereal. Captain and, Crunch. Yes. <laughs> See, if 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 like hypothetically, like um, I was a foreigner. And I was trying to like marry Destiny to get my green card or what and whatnot. And then they want to interview us, right? To see if it was all just like a scam. We would pass. We would pass with fine, fine <laughs> colors, no problem. What kind of uh, canned food does he like? Spaghettios. What kind of canned food do you like? Spaghettios. Right. Seriously. Spaghettios is the food of the leprechaun. What kind of tooth? <laughs> what kind of toothpaste does he like? He likes that stuff with charcoal in it. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of uh, what kind of soap does he like? Whatever is there. Yeah, <laughs> whatever right. is there. Whatever's available for uh, whatever. This this is really this tent is all right. It's bomb. Know. The everything is so comfortable too. I just, I just hope you don't wake up and I'm dead. <laughs> what? Well, I'm hypoxic, baby. No. Like if you, if you wake up and like I'm stiff and cold, I guarantee you that means I'm dead. Call the Rangers. <laughs> just leave me in the tent. You want me to sleep you where you are? Yeah, just call them and they'll drag me back, drag my ass back down there. Okay. Um, or you could just, uh, maybe, maybe you could find some lighter fluid out there or something. Just douse the tent and burn me up. Is that what you want? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Let me see your hand. Stop. Lava soap? I love lava. Lava has pumice in it. Yeah. Pumice? We should get a pumice stone. We don't need it. We'll just buy lava. It's a great soap. You could buy lava? Lava soap. It's called lava. And it has its soap oh. that has pumice in it. Oh, cool. So it's sort of like using it's, sandpaper, um, but it's, it's real great. It's exfoliating. Oh, yeah. It's great. I've nice. used it on my hair. My hair looks great. Oh, we'll God. Buy, next time we go, Soon we'll buy lava. Soon that you fell on your hair. And okay, yeah, we'll buy lava. Net, we'll, buy, we'll get lava. Yeah. Ugh. What are they saying? Linda was here, Linda Lou. Hi, Linda. If you're... Yes, Linda's here. Linda Hi. Linda Lou. We, we've been watching. Um, oh, been... Hill's been she. Bro? We've been watching Ozark. Oh. And... And, Dr. Sasquatch. And breaking um, and, uh <laughs> It looked good. Oh my god, we should do that again. Cut cut it cut me Just in put a, a Dutch ball, ball over your head. <laughs> Will you please give me that? If we can do it to you, you could actually get away with it. No. No, you'd look cute. No. With the Dutch boy, you could get away with it. <laughs> no. I'm trying to see you. Yeah, you'd be like out of a uh I'm trying to see Quentin you. Tarantino movie or something. Yeah. Just like, you know, like, hang on, baby. Look you at me. You think Quentin Tarantino would cast me if yeah, I had? If, 
not, hang on. You get the black bangs right, and then just going down, and then it would be like combed real straight. It'd be just like Uma Thurman. Yes. Yeah, you'd be going for that look, but you could you with it. <laughs> nice. <coughs> Your hair is as long as like my, uh, you know, my <laughs> Amish sisters were like. It oh was yeah. Like, yeah, they. That that's a thing that Amish Amish women have real long hair. Um, just a little bit of just a fun fact I'll throw in there. I would speak in uh, German right now, but I don't want to show off. And I'd be I'd be like doing like they do on that show. I'd be like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna divulge stuff and make my people look bad. You know I don't I'm not gonna I'm not like that Jeremiah. It's the truth. Just piss me off. I was from a uh, I was from a clan, an Amish clan that's from uh, Clayton, Missouri. Okay. There's a lot of Amish in Clayton. Okay. And my family was one of them. I just, I, I had to get out. So what I did was I joined the military. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't have a show like that when I was a kid. So during Rumspringer, I joined the military and just didn't come back. Mm. It's like later. That's how you escaped? Well, I really didn't escape. I just didn't want to do it anymore. It was just, I was sick of the... I was sick of the clothes. <coughs> the fashion was terrible. And they always made you wear this hat. And my dad, my dad would wake me up to like, like we didn't have a horse because we were real poor Amish. So he'd make me drag the fucking plow. Oh wow, like you were the horse? Yes. Jeez. And it was, it was mean. And like, we'd have to wake up at five every 4.30. 30 because we had to be out on the field at five. And if we weren't, my dad would like have a bucket of water and throw it on us and saying uh, German, you know, the equivalent of underlay, underlay, underlay. It's making her head hurt thinking about it. I just feel so sorry for you. <coughs> Notice that I didn't say any German words because I don't want, I'm not, a, I'm not fronting like Jeremiah did and Abe and Gabe and Let's let's not talk about Abe's wife, okay? Wow. Rebecca? She's horrible. <laughs> she is horrible. Horrible. I wouldn't have invited her to the Amish prom. There's no way. We had a big prom every year. It was in a barn. And, like, because the, the English kids would go to the real prom, and we weren't allowed to, so we would have our own prom in a barn. I could tell you stories. There was always at least one kid that was caught. And let's just leave it at that. It was a kid that couldn't get a date. That was a friend of Jeremiah, so let's put it that way. Although, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you more about the, life, the lifestyle because that's what it was. The Amish lifestyle. Um, I, I don't know. What do you want to know? You want to know anything about how it was when I was Amish? I'll tell you because I know all about it. Our clothes were made out of cotton. Our the la the lady folk would make the clothes. If you were Amish, you would be making me clothes all day long. I would make really fashionable cool and clothes and cooking pies. Oh yeah. But you do that I'm, anyway. Yeah. She's a she's always baking pies. I love baking pies. She's baking and, pies and cakes and and cupcakes. I love cupcakes. Today she made a, a pineapple upside down cupcakes that were fantastic. Wow, honey, it's impressive. It was. And pudding. She made chocolate. She made chocolate pudding today. It's fantastic. Loved it. I loved your pudding. She's a, you would make a wonderful Amish woman. Thanks. Except you're super hot and... Oh, I better be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That almost slipped out. Well, I'm just thinking about Abe's mom. She's hot. 
No, okay, never mind. Um, that reminds me of something. That reminds me of my second grade teacher, Mrs. Bain. Mrs. Bain, what was she like? Horrible. Why? Abe's mom, but Abe's mom is nice, right? Yeah, she's sort of nice. She's not gonna take no gruff, but Mrs. Bain was just like, ugh. Her name was Mrs. Bain? Bain. Oh, I was about to say more like Bane of your existence. She's the one that said you all are immature. Oh, that's where you got Not that immature, from. Not immature, immature. <laughs> yeah, we're in second you're too, grade. You're too mature to say that. You know, like, like she's called second graders immature. Yeah, no shit. What did she expect? She's the second grade teacher. She's the one that wanted to teach the immature children. And then she's calling us immature? We're in second grade, lady. I wanted to stand up and just walk out, but I didn't because I was in second grade. <laughs> it was rude, though, what she did, calling us immature. I should have said something to her. Like, you you got gray hair, lady, and you maybe should be on a diet. Hey, and Toxic. Like hey, Toxic, what's up? And, um, well, that was my story about Mrs. Bain. Um... That is the classroom that I ate a baby guppy in. Chris Chris O'Connor. You what? Chris <laughs> O'Connor dared me to eat a baby guppy. And I saw Philippe Cous Cous Cousteau. You know the Cousteau, right? I saw him eating some fish. They were down in a submersible. And they were attracted to light. And so Philippe like, went like this and like ate, ate some of them. Like sushi, you know, it's fine. So I did it with a guppy, and as soon as I did it, he started screaming, Peter just ate one of the baby guppies. <laughs> but Mrs. Bain Damn, kept her to shit him. together and said, yeah, so what? Get away from the fish tank. That's what she said. Oh, uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, she knew it was no big deal. And I also see, there was this whole thing back in the 30s about, like, eating live goldfish. So I, I, knew, I knew that you could do it. There's a thing? Yeah, it was some kind of fucking, you know, like, you know, the streak. And they call them the streak. The fastest thing on two feet. You know, when, when like, uh, back in the 70s, people were, like, taking off their clothes and then run out on the football field. Oh, streaking, yeah. Yeah. So it was like that. It was like a fad, but it was like eating goldfish for some reason. The college... Oh, right. Right, prank or something. Like, yeah, like a frat party. People yeah. would be like... Yeah, eat the goldfish, eat it, eat yeah. It. Type. Oh, are you, yo, you're bad. You're bad. You ate the goldfish. So I, I, I saw Philippe do it, and I had seen something on, you know, something. Nice. So I knew you could do it. But I didn't get in any trouble that day. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, uh, well, I might have gotten in a little bit of trouble. And, you know, was, About the fish? Oh, I was always cutting up and everything, just like oh. making my jokes in class. <laughs> You were a class clown. Well, you know, at inappropriate times, the teachers didn't appreciate it. I was being immature. Oh. You know, I was practicing my comic stylings, and they didn't get it. Mm. You know, so. You were ahead of your time. Eighth grade, there was a teacher that didn't like me either. She commented on my comic stylings. What'd she say? She said something about, like, you know, you always got to come in here and do this, like, song and dance routine, don't you? <laughs> and I'm like... Damn, that cut yeah. deep. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, yeah, I do, don't I? You know? Yeah, that kind of shit gets in your head. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right? That just made me want to do it more. <laughs> you know? She didn't, she didn't, you know, that didn't stop me. That didn't stop me. <laughs> What is this? This is leather, isn't it? Parts of it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, pretty Where, sweet. Where'd you get that bad boy? Um, was that from the I've gift shop down at the mount, uh, at the, down no. in the parking lot? <laughs> yes. We bought some stuff at the gift shop. We did. Should we tell them what we bought? Go ahead. Well, I bought some socks and a sweater, and I bought uh, Destiny this little mini TV. Like, it's really tiny TV. It's made by Sony. Yeah. And, um, 
It's probably around here. It's so yeah, small. Yeah, it's so small. I can't find it. It's like this big. And some beef jerky. And we left it all down there in the parking lot, which I could really use some of that beef jerky right now. Didn't we have beef jerky? Did you eat? Oh, did not. Bag. I did not eat you it. Ate it all, didn't you? you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. I you did, not did, did you? Oh, what? my God. I did not. There's wow, still so much. Wow, you just scarfed it down. There's still so much. There is still so much. Is there really? Whatever. Okay. Whatever is right. We were going to have lunch today. And, um, well, we had four biscuits. <laughs> and and um, then we only had three. <laughs> Somebody. It wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Yes, it was. No. I begged. <laughs> this, ha this happens a lot. It's okay. There you, was some cinnamon you buns. You just admit it. We were at the hotel driving <laughs> you, here, and there were some cinnamon buns. And I took a shower, and I came out, and they no, were all you gone. you ate the entire box. No, I didn't. You, you did. They don't believe that, do you? Do, they, do you? <laughs> do you? They don't. They would believe you, actually. You know, that's yeah. it. And um, and there you go. Who is that? Is that Scully? Yeah. Scully Wag. What's up, Skull? Skull, what what town are you in? Don't tell us. We don't need to know. You're just two hours away. That's all we need to know. <laughs> is there even anybody there? Yeah, there's 42 there people watch, here. Watching us suffer on top of this mountain. Why Why did we want to go camping anyway? Because camping is fun and peaceful. Yeah, I guess. I'm kind of out of breath. And... It means that... You eat all the cookies and blame <laughs> it on me? You eat all the cookies and no. blame it on me. No, no, that's not true. That's not true. Tomorrow when we wake up, there's like a mountain stream out here and it's really cold water. And I'm just gonna like dive in there and like, you know, take a bath and walk around and naturally get warm. Shelly Hiddleston says, hey Peter. Oh, hey Checking Shelly. In. I baked some oatmeal cookies the other night, yum. Hope you guys are doing well. We hope you're doing well too. What's up, Shelly? Shelly can cook. She was. <laughs> don't, uh, don't cook her on Peter, he'll eat it all. No. Uh, Shelly <laughs> well, comes from an Amish family. She was in uh, California Amish. I know her. She, from, she was Amish. Really? Yes, ask her. Weren't you, aren't you? A, she was of a clan, the Amish clan out there in like. California, close to LA. She'll admit it, probably. I think, weren't you? I don't know, I'm not sure. Lot, there's a lot of Amish out here, though. Sometimes I think I know who's Amish, and sometimes <laughs> I think I know, but I'm wrong. <laughs> Are there any Amish vampires? Yes. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? That's where it originated from. Because they're so e secretive, it's like easy to be on it. They're German stuff and everything. Like, I mean, there are German stuff. Ichmann, mine, me, my knee, Mutter. That was something about my mother, I don't know. Uh, I am <clears throat> something about a Berliner, I don't know. I'm just gonna stay under here and ask Destiny some questions. She'll answer them. No. I'm delirious with hypoxia. <clears throat> How long have we been on? Um, 36 minutes. That's, that's it? Yeah. Seems like it's been like four hours. Do you hear that? What?
You're so trippy. Those are brown sparrows. Why? Because that's what they do. They flutter around at night. Maybe it's a bat. No, it's not. It's sparrows. What if it's a bat? It's not. I know brown sparrows. Sounds like a bat. Oh my Ridge. God, look. What? A spider on yeah. the outside of the tent? <laughs> you can't get in here. Are you gonna look at that thing all night? No. We're not going down the mountain tonight. Stop looking at it, it'll drive you crazy. I'm just looking at it because it's cool. Chill out, Oh, man. okay. All right, dude. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a brown sparrow. No, it's probably a wolf or something. Oh, Bigfoot. Tell a, cam a scary camp story, and can you like actually? I just told one about being please? a Mormon. No. I mean, not a Mormon. And you see, I get confused. Tell a scary camp story. Well, there's the um, there was this this guy that um escaped from the mental yeah. asylum. <laughs> There's a, there's a, and he rode the train, a, and he's probably in the woods yeah. right now. <laughs> you say that every time. Yeah, because tell, it's the truth. Tell the what about the straw man? The straw man? Yes, how he finds people that are out at night and feel. The straw man lays down. He's like the grass man. Let's talk about the grass man. The grass man just like can like blend in with the grass, he just sinks into the grass, like, and then when he wants to come up, he comes up at night, and then he looks for people in the tent, especially like, he leaves the men alone and takes the women and what? drags them off into the, the grass, and then drags them underground. And then right? they become grass. Pretty much. He plants them in the soil. Yeah, that's right. And then they're grass women. They become fertilizer or something. It's no big deal. What is that? I don't know. It's no big deal. We have this like nylon tent and we'll save this. I know a guy with a hook for a hand, and he's actually really nice. A hook? Yeah. What is this, 1939? Whoa, A man. hook? People, yeah, some people still have hook hands. Really? Yeah. God, I didn't know that. It's not really like a pirate hook. It doesn't I know that. Like it that. does it has some function. Yeah. Right. I just, like, that's, like, wow, you would have think somebody would upgrade like they have like hands now you Maybe know what they I'm saying? can't afford to yeah it's pretty expensive but you would think that really yeah i mean they they have those things they're making prosthetic device with 3d printers and stuff i don't know it was yeah. an old man like he oh he probably just yeah he's used to it yeah, gonna do. right i'll probably go for that if i need one i'll probably go for that But if I didn't have feet, I'd go for wheels. Oh, you've thought about this. Yeah, like a wheel on each foot. What about just one wheel? No. Because then your legs would be stuck together. No, I don't want to, no. Oh, I see. You just have your feet sewed together and then just, you're on one wheel. Yeah. And you move like a dolphin <laughs> or something. No, the wheel is like, 
it would be your feet. What is so it, it battery operated? No, it would be your feet, so you would just be able to like roll. Use nerve endings. You're to roll really it. good going downhill, but you can stop. <laughs> you would be able to stop. You had to drag your knuckles on the ground. <laughs> you should have a brick in each hand, and then you just like like anchors. Into, yeah, you had that rope. <laughs> <laughs> and then just two anchors. Yeah, <laughs> what did you... screech to a stop. Like Something every like... day, you have to do that going to work. Sure. Like at Eddie Murphy. Because you live and... at like the top of an extremely high mountain. What about, what about uh, trading places? Have you seen that movie? No. Really? I've seen The Big Lebowski. Yeah, trading places. Eddie Murphy is like this like bomb, and he's on the street. And he's 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 panhandling for money, trying to convince people that it's really bad off. So he's like, uh, he doesn't have any legs, right? And he's just sort of kneeling on a skateboard, and that's oh. his deal. Like he moves around on a skateboard, and then they realize he's faking, so they pick him up, and his legs drop out. That's my story. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Does he learn a lesson at the end that you shouldn't do that? Well, he trades places and makes a, with, um, um, uh, who is that? Um, other guy from Saturday Night whatever. Chris. With the rich guy. And they put the rich guy in the poor farm, in the poor house. They trade places and Eddie's making money and they have a lot. Anyway, it's a lot. It was just a bet between, like, two rich guys. Like, I can make this, like, poor guy. I don't know. What? Huh? Should we should we uh, go to sleep now? Well, I want to watch a uh, um a movie out here. Oh yeah, that is that is right. We brought the movie projector. We from brought the projector. The and we're gonna project it on the tent. But plug that bad boy in. We'll watch it. Okay. Are we going to say goodbye to these people? Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Good night. Thank Good night. you for coming. Good night. We'll, uh, we'll live stream And look out again. for the grass man, or he's going to plant you in the ground and turn you to grass. We'll, we'll let you know if, well, Destiny will let you know if I, make, you know, don't make it. Are you going to, you hand. What? First, goodbye. Oh, but I can't. I'm <laughs> hypoxic, baby. You got to do it. <laughs> Like this right here? Yeah. Okay, bye. I hope I see you bye, all Bye, everyone. Again. Thank you.